Hi Libra, welcome to your new love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female watching. So Libra, hope everybody's well, staying safe and healthy. So this is still the singles reading. I just changed the title, title a little bit to new love reading. So it's still going to look at new energy possibly coming into you. This is intended for people who are single and wondering when will a new person come into my life, a new encounter, uh, a date, or my next major relationship, or love, or whatever it may be. Uh, so this may be significant in that way, shape, or form, and we'll see what we get here. And um, you can let me know in the comments below if you prefer this new format. I changed the format a little bit. Or if you prefer my old style, the old style, especially if you knew, I did do um, the energy of this person, which we will do in this reading, clarified with tarot. Then I looked into uh, where and how you may meet this person, time frame, when, and then what kind of connection it would be. So with this new format, I'm still going to get the energy of the person and clarify that energy, but now I'll also look at how you'll feel about each other and the connection, and then we'll look at possible blockages and challenges for the connection. Then we'll look at advice, guidance, and possible outcome. So again, you can let me know um, how um, you like this reading, and we'll also look at like what kind of connection it would be. So you can let me know how you like this uh, style, this format, or if you have any ideas, suggestions, I'm open that to that also. And also you can check the description box below, tons of information down there. And if you're new and you want to check out my channel, like what you see, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell. And if you do, thank you. You get about four or five readings a month. Uh, I do bonuses. I was doing them for every sign. I may change that to just the top um, three or four readings, signs, per month and give them the bonuses. So I don't know, I haven't made up my mind yet. So, okay, so Libra, new love coming in. What is this next significant encounter, love, relationship, date? And I know we're all in quarantine right now. I understand that. So this doesn't mean it's gonna exactly happen in May. And keep in mind, I also could pick up on something from the past, present or future. So if you say, well, that was a situation I was in in the past, well, that could very well happen, even though this does say, new love i mean it is all energy and you know time is fluid and uh for some this may be new for some i could pick up something from the past so take it how it resonates for you it may not be for everybody this is a general collective reading so all right for libra oh and i forgot to light your incense sun moon rising and venus male or female watching just want to light this Let's see what we get. So with this deck here, uh, we'll get what their energy is like, what kind of energy they're sitting in right now. And then with that yellow deck there, the goddess guidance, we'll look into like their soul and spirit energy. And then with this love oracle, we'll look into their love energy, like what their love energy is like. All right. For Libra, new love. What is their next encounter? No, it's too many. I just want one for Libra. Please, new love for Libra. Something rising. Thank you. I'm going to pull these first, one from each deck. And then we'll go over them, and then we'll get into the tarot. Okay, so what is this person's soul, spirit energy like? What is their soul, spirit energy like? New love, new person coming into Libra. The next encounter, whatever it may be. For Libra, please. Libra singles want to know about a new person. One card for this person's soul, spirit, energy. All right, that one. And let's get their love energy. What is their love energy like? For Libra, please. Thank you so much. What is their love energy like for Libra? Love energy like for Libra. This new person for Libra. All right. What is this love energy like? Well, in Libra, if you do have a connection with somebody, but you're still single, I do offer uh, love connection readings on my channel. Just, you know, regular love readings. And it looks at a connection between you and another person, whether you're together or not. So if you do believe you have an ongoing connection with the person, even though you're still single, feel free to check out those readings also. All the April and May readings are up and I know well this will probably be up doing this the end of April so um, you can go back though I consider them timeless so you could go back and watch previous readings 
All right, so that one. Okay. Let's see what we have here. And we have seven awaiting results. So this is somebody who um, could be very practical, uh, smart, cautious, uh, analytical. This is a energy of like assessing, evaluating, analyzing, you know, you know, waiting things out to see what's going to happen. Should I keep investing? Should I not invest kind of energy? So somebody, you know, patiently waiting here for something after doing like reviewing, assessing and analyzing kind of energy, waiting for something to blossom. So let's see. And, you know, it's pentacle energy. So it's all about stability, um, practicality, home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So um, they could have just moved. Somebody just moved into your neighborhood. Um, but again, you know, home, I'm getting that energy of like the four of wands, like a very stable home life. So I feel like this is somebody that likes a very stable home life. They like to plan out things carefully. Also, they could have just moved also or moved into your area. Or maybe they're planning to move. They could be planning to move also or somebody who has just moved. We have here, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. 17 is eight. So eight is about taking action, travel, communication. So this person definitely could have assessed here for a long time on moving. But I feel like they're very loving, kind, uh, patient kind of person. But, you know, they is also about taking action, travel, communication. So I think, it, I think there's someone who, who takes action, but they like to plan out things very detailed, carefully, uh, a lot of planning. Um, I don't feel like they're someone that just does something on a whim. They definitely like detailed plans and uh, stay, slow, steady kind of energy. They like a very stable home life. But I feel like as far as love goes, I feel like they're a very patient and kind person also. Very loving. Uh, they could have a child or children or they could want children in the future. Because I do see a child here. Yeah, that's a kind of a nice energy. Getting kind of like a calm, peaceful energy. All right, I think there's somebody who longs to have a home and family. All right, so, because I think of awaiting results, like kind of awaiting, uh, like on a pregnancy test or something like that. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I think this is someone that's definitely going to want a long-term person who wants a home, a family. All right, so... And I'm not sure if that's something you want, like, right away or something in the future. So we'll see. Let's clarify this energy for Libra. Clarify this energy for Libra. All right. They could work in finances also with that pentacle energy. So I have the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, the eight, a lot of eights here. So that definitely is about travel and movement. So the Eight of Cups definitely is uh, an energy of like leaving something no longer serving, but going to something be something better. Knight of Cups here is about moving forward in a loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing kind of energy. I feel like they took their time. If they just moved, I think they really took their time and thought this out carefully. Because I do see an energy here walking away from something no longer serving them. But I feel like they're just a very mellow, caring, nurturing, giving, compassionate Kind of energy they may be kind of slow moving <laughs> uh very methodical and um kind of energy all right so i just noticed here we have seven and then we have eight and you libra are seven so it's matching numbers here so this could kind of feel you could kind of feel like this is someone who's like a mismatch for you but yet it's a match <laughs> seven is a very divinely guided spiritual energy all right, so what else do we have? Right, the Ten of Coins. Yeah, I, and I had said that. This person, this is about legacy of a family dynamic. A stable, abundant, long-term family situation. Home, family, children, um, finances, everything. Sharing of everything together. Legacy, family dynamic, grandchildren, grandparents. I mean, lineage, the whole nine yards. Yeah, they really want, this is someone who wants... 
marriage commitment, long-term family. All right. What else here? And they could have been, they could have been uh, with somebody that realized they didn't want the same things as them and they could have stayed in that relationship for a long time and finally said, you know what, this person isn't going to give me my Ten of Pentacles, so I'm leaving. So that could be a situation also. Even though there was love there, you know, they say love isn't always everything. So I feel like, you know, they hung around but knew this person wasn't going to give them what they wanted, which was maybe a family. All right, so let's see. But I feel like, again, they're very patient. They want that one that wants the same uh, things they do, have the same ideals, morals, value. Lovers. <laughs> yeah. Then I, yeah, so they want their ultimate lover, their soulmate, someone they see eye to eye with, they have that magical connection with, that wants the Ten of Pentacles, the home, the family. Wow, children. Wow, okay. All right, so I feel like they could have walked away from somebody here that wasn't giving them what they wanted. And they're holding out, they're being patient for the one that will want the same thing that they want. So let's get one more emperor. Yeah, they take control, lead of their life here. Took control and lead of their life and they left a situation where they knew it wasn't going to be fulfilling for them, so they left. I think they left it in a calm, peaceful, mature kind of way. But they're holding out here for their perfect lover that wants the same thing that they want. Wow. So this is definitely a divine counterpart here with the emperor. All right. So let's see. And the lovers, definitely soulmate, divine counterpart energy here. They're waiting for their divine counterpart and their soulmate that will want the same sort of Ten of Pentacles they want. Wow. Okay. So let's see uh, with this connection, how you would feel. How would you feel about them, Libra? Let's do that first. How would you feel, Libra? Wow. So here's your energy, Libra, with justice coming out right here. So this is about getting justice, serving justice, balance, um, I think you're going to feel very balanced with this person. Truth, clarity, balance. Like, <laughs> I finally got justice getting the same person, same, that's these, because now you're coming out as the nine of pentacles, so you're almost at the ten, like they are, but you're single. You're single, but you have your nine pentacles, but you're missing that one more, which would be theirs, that combined would be this ten of pentacles. And you want to live in an energy too, palace of cups, of pure love, uh, compassion, peace, harmony, bliss, uh, emotional fulfillment. Wow. Wow, okay. So I think you're going to feel like, wow, I've met my counterpart here. So you may feel that also. I feel like you are single, stable, secure, grounded in your own right. But you also want justice in your life, too, with the right kind of partner where you can live in this Palace of Cups. And this deck has four Palace uh, cards. It's the only deck that has it. No other de decks have this, these cards, and very rarely do they come out. There's only four, one for each suit. So I've had readings where I've had, I think, almost all four come out, which is kind of amazing. So let's see how this person will feel about you, Libra. And I'm only going to go by kings and queens as to what sign they may be, so it's not so confusing. So we have the two of swords, but for some reason they're going to feel, um, oh, the two of cups. <laughs> so they may feel, you know, for a minute here, gee, is this truly my person? Is this my true soulmate? So they may not see it right away with the two of swords. They may feel a little conflicted or indecisive and not see it right away, but then they'll be enlightened here Here's the light being enlightened to, oh, here's my two of cups. Here's my soulmate, the two swans here, mate for life. Because you, so we did have the soulmate up here. So they may not see it at first, but wanting to work on it here with the three pentacles. So definitely once they come to realize, okay, this has soulmate potential, they want the same things I want. So they may go into this feeling, uh, 
a little indecisive and not totally open to it. And then all of a sudden it like just opens up for them and now they want to work, they'll want to work on it. Uh, how you may meet them. I don't know. Uh, it could be around Libra season around your season or in the fall because we have fall here. Could be, you know, around water at the park. So we have a lot of water here with the swans and this palace of cups. So it could be like at the ocean or near water or something or at the park or something like that. Or you can meet them in the city somewhere. If you don't live by water, it could be in the city. Um, maybe just out walking or something like that. All right, so let's see though, uh, challenge, challenges and blocks. Challenges and blocks, if there be any challenges, blocks for this connection, for Libra, this new love, the chariot. It's about positive movement forward, drive, ambition, success, victory. So there may be a little trouble getting this off the ground. Uh, somebody may actually have car trouble and that may prevent this from moving forward. Or maybe someone doesn't have a car. <laughs> so it's like, okay, how are we going to do this? Something with traveling, maybe a blockage. Or there's some sort of um, not able to move it forward just for some reason. What else? The hermit so this is about going in and thinking reflecting uh, on this so uh, somebody may have trouble I feel like I feel like they'll see the light so that may be a blockage I felt this as a blockage so it may and that could be one of the blockages till they see the light that this has a two of cups potential because here's the light here so I think once they go in and reflect on this somebody once they go in and reflect on this could be a blockage till they see the light to start to drive this forward. Here's a balancing of the energy. So the temperance angel here is trying to bring the soulmates together. It's peace, harmony, balance, patient. We have patient up here. So one may be, because this is a blockage, so one person may be a little impatient on the other because the other one may not see the light right away. And there may be an issue with traveling here that may block this for a while whether somebody doesn't have a car, or somebody has car issues, or it just be the energy of moving it forward. It may not move forward uh, until the energies are balanced out. Or, you know, somebody may be impatient while the other one is, you know, until they think the other one figures this out. Eight of Wands. So traveling again. A lot of eights here. So maybe an issue with travel or maybe distance between you. Could be it also, because there's a lot of water here. So maybe somebody lives you know, across the waters or a different state for some reason. <clears throat> but we do have the Eight of Wands, which is about travel, action, communication. So, so traveling may be a block here or distance. Because <sighs> this does lead to the Ace of Coins. So this is a stable new beginning. No kings or queens yet, as for signs. But this is a divinely guided brand new beginning on stability, um, long-term potential that will lead to the Ten of Pentacles, which is right here. So this does have that potential. Once some sort of traveling blocks are, are eliminated, somebody finally sees the light that this is a soulmate connection, then this will start to drive forward to long-term commitment, stability, offer being made. Somebody maybe again maybe impatient on the other one, or will need to have patience with the other. So let's see what uh, advice or guidance we have here. So it's t saying to take a leap of faith here, jump right in to this with the fool, refreshing, restarting at zero, taking a leap of faith for a new beginning. Here's the new beginning right here, with the Ace of Coins, and it could be too maybe you meet them over the internet or something like that but you still can't come together right now because of everything going on um in the world and here's the massive healing with temperance so until i think things straighten out and we can get back into socializing could be an issue here tower moment so this could be a shock a revelation a surprise so why is the tower here for advice guidance Page of Cups. 
So I think the, the <laughs> One of the message I'm getting is to take somebody needs to take a leap of faith here and surprise the other other with a love proposal or a love um, offer or something like that or loving communication or somebody could have a child and I felt that up here or surprising the other you know I want the whole ten of Pentacles with you um, there's love stability but I also want to have you know a home and children. Or, you know, surprising the other with this loving communication and love offer and taking that leap of faith. So what else do we have here? Four, one, oh my God. And I had said that. This is my twin flame card. So we have heavy soulmate twin flame here. Uh, this is marriages, uh, ceremonies, very stable home life, celebrations, getting get got, coming together getting together going out so yep here's the door opening to like a new life wow so the spirit is saying to take this leap of faith with this person may come as a shock a surprise they want a long-term commitment with you starting with the ace to the ten starting with loving communication proposals wanting a happy home and family and children and everything and the whole nine yards and maybe you want the same thing and you both see eye to eye and it's like a shock but there are blockages here that we'll have to get through and that's either uh someone being a little blocked off at first till they see the light and the other one needing more patience and maybe something with traveling again you know with the whole situation right now no court cards no kings or queens so but we have like every sign here, but let's see what we have at the bottom. The moon. So being a little unsure about this, but needing to listen to gut intuition, higher knowing, very deep feelings and emotions also. Cycles. Um, very intuitive energy. Now we have strength. So a very, very strong emotional bond between two. So, okay. Now we have the king of coins energy here, which can be Virgo. So they could be a Virgo. Someone who is stable, secure. And we have the seven of pentacles that came out first. So they could work in finances or something like that. Or be, a, you know, a business owner or something very secure, stable, grounded energy for the long term. Because this faith definitely could lead to marriage, commitment, long term, faith, spirituality. This is the Hierophant. Now we do have the Queen of Swords. So they could be king or queen, doesn't matter. So this is Gemini. So, so far we have Virgo and Gemini. So, you know, this is saying with truth and clarity, open, honest communication, cutting away things no longer serving kind of energy. And this is all my divine intervention card, my communication from the divine source, shed, shedding the sword of truth and clarity, which could lead to the page of coins here, which could lead to a long-term proposal, stable and grounded and solid, which would move this forward very, very quickly with the Knight of Swords. Now we do have the King of Wands, so they could be um, a Sagittarius. So very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy going after what they want quickly with a solid offer. Seeing the light and the truth of the situation for long-term commitment. Stable, grounded, long-term energy. Very strong emotional bond between two soulmate twin flame energies. Wow. Libra. So that's what I see. So I hope this resonated. Best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.